Boxing Voice here with the Corpus Christi Kid, Jerry Belmontes. Hey, congratulations on your retirement. You know, it's great to see you, you know, hang them up when, when you, you know, you, you still, you could probably still fight tomorrow if you wanted to. But, um, you know, what made you want to, you know, pull the plug and just call it a day? Uh, my family, not uh, spending enough time with my family. Uh, actually, this is my first time having a vacation, just me and my wife for about three years. So, uh, I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it right now. And a lot of people were kind of sad to see you go because you brought it. You fought anybody, anytime. A lot of people thought you deserved. You should have had that WCBC strap around your waist when you fought uh, Omar Figueroa Jr. Uh, but how, is it bittersweet because of that and maybe because of the politics where you always have to be in somebody else's backyard as the B-side and pretty much give in to what, what their promoters wanted? No, I mean... Um like I told any any promo, any promotion come that I was with, I told them I'll fight anyone, anywhere, anytime. So I mean, that's the kind of fighter I am. I'm here to fight the best. That's what the kind of fighter I was. I mean, let me say that. Uh, and no, I mean it was just a blessing to uh, just even fight for a WBC belt, the main green belt. So uh, I mean, I really enjoyed it. I mean, nothing compared. To, uh, nothing. Uh, I'm holding nothing against Omar, but man, uh, man if he wants a rematch, I'll come out of retirement for that. Yeah, and it's looking like he's toy, he has that light at the end of a tunnel, too. Um, but, you know, what's your message? I mean, you, you, you went through a lot. You had some ups and downs, and you had a lot of success. What would, what would be your message to, to a lot of these young fighters that are here tonight that are looking up to now your class that, you know, is, is advanced for, you know, what to do, what not to do, what to look for in boxing? Man, just hard work, dedication. Um, spend as much time as you can on the gym. Uh, and really put everything into it. Give 110% into it. Uh, everything that everything you got into that, and um, you go a long way. And we, we know you have a great family. You know y'all are close. It's great to see the way you're you're, you're riding off into the sunset the right way. Uh, what's next? Are you still gonna kind of stay close to boxing? Maybe uh, be involved in the gyms? We know your dad still trains, and he's 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 legendary down there, and a lot of people look up, and he's pretty much the the guru down there when it comes to Corpus Christi. Yeah, I mean. Um, I'm gonna start training uh, kids, my, uh, people on my, uh, my, uh, my own. Uh, I got some few kids, uh, I'm gonna start training, bring them up. So of course I'm always gonna stay, stay close to boxing. I got my son who's gonna turn eight, who's gonna be uh, eligible to uh, compete for the USA Boxing. So I'm gonna start training him too. And um, I'm gonna start working with my manager. We have a company we're gonna start working with. Yeah, 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 your manager, he's, he's doing a great job. He's done, he's, he's set up a lot of great fights and opportunities for you guys. Um, so uh, how hard is it going to be to fight those demons to, or that fire in your belly? Because you're a competitor. We always see when fighters retire, they always come back. You know, they, they, they either see an opponent or opportunity that, that is probably too good to pass up or they just or they just get that itch. Uh, what's it, what's it going to be like to, uh, you know, maybe a year, year or two, or a few months from now? I mean, um... All I gotta do is look at my kids, and my kids are the main reason why, and my wife, um, that I've retired, spend more time with them. And um, but like, even like tonight, I'm here watching the fights live, and I'm, I'm here shaking, my wife's like, what's wrong? I'm like, man, I wanna jump in right now. I wanna get in the ring. But, I mean, I'm with my wife, and I see my kids, I think about my kids, so that's who I wanna be with. And, yeah, and since you are going to be involved with boxing, there is uh, a, almost a lack of, of trainers in our area, even in San Antonio. We need we need people with that experience. They, you guys have been through your ups and downs. So, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about your company. Uh, where, you, where you go from here, you and uh, you, Mr. Clark, uh, what y'all going to do with uh, your, your guys? Uh, we're going to start managing people, uh, lead them the right way. Of, um, I mean, we know, we know the boxing game. We know the way promoters are. We know the way some managers are. So we're going to make sure they get whatever they want. Want, whatever they need, guarantee it. Right. Yeah, well, we're in the right market down here in Texas, but uh, where, where can people follow you for more to, uh, to see what, where you're at in your new venture, maybe uh, peek in and uh, show some love? Oh, just follow me on uh, Facebook, uh, Jerry Belmontes. I'm always on it. All right. And uh, the company, you can, tell us, can you tell us a little bit about that real quick? Uh, the company is just, uh, man, I really don't know a lot about it. I just know that he just told me that we're going to start helping a lot of more people. Uh, he has a few people in mind, uh, like Eric Molina was uh, one of our first that we uh, he helped out and um, helped out big with him. So um, I really don't know a lot about it. So can't really right. say you know, a, a lot about it. Yeah, it's just the beginning. I appreciate the time and definitely look forward to seeing your progress. All right, thanks, Rod. Signing up.